There we go. Ugh, finally. I never have to deal with this crap ever again. What is going on guys? Welcome to the next video in my Road to Max series. And as you just saw, I got 99 fishing. And with that one out of the way, I only have five more skills to go until I can hit that 2277 total level. So this video is going to be pretty much the same as all my other Road to Max series. Basically, I'm going to take you guys through some popular methods on how to get level 99 in the skill that I just got level 99 in. And I'm going to explain to you why these are good, how long it might take you, and how much experience that you're going to need. And I will also throw in how I got 99 fishing in there as well. Alright, so before we get into exactly what the methods are that I'm going to be showing you guys, I want to get into some pre-fishing information. So this is going to help you get started and get you moving in the right direction. So if you're starting the fishing skill from level 1, you're going to want to do the Sea Slug quest. The Sea Slug quest only has a requirement of level 30 fire making, which is very easy to get, and it will get you from level 1 to 24 fishing. And 24 fishing is really where you're going to start your journey, pretty much on any account if you're a member. So once you have hit that level 24 fishing from doing the sea slug quest, or if you're already there at 24 fishing, the next thing you're going to want to get is the angler's outfit. Now the angler's outfit is a experience boosting outfit that is acquired from the fishing trawler minigame. Each piece of the angler's outfit, you have a 1 in 8 chance of getting it as a drop after each game of the fishing trawler, which isn't really that bad. Normally it would take you about 32 games if you hit the drop rate to get it. Me personally, it only took me 11 games to get the outfit and that's pretty lucky. Now the good thing about this outfit is you cannot get duplicate pieces of the outfit until a full set is gotten. So if you get the hat, next you'll get the top, then you'll get the legs, then you'll get the boots, or whatever order that comes in. So you don't have to worry about getting duplicate pieces and having to repeat it all over again just to get a piece that you need. Now the angler's outfit does require level 34 fishing to wear, but you can start fishing trawler at level 15 fishing and that will allow you to actually catch some fish during the trawler, but you can actually board the boat at any level. So I say get the fishing trawler outfit before you hit level 34 so it's already there, it's ready and you have it out of the way to keep going on your merry way. Now the full set grants 2.5% experience per catch. So every time you catch a fish, you will get 2.5% more experience than it actually gives. And using this entire outfit all the way to level 99 from level 34 will save you 337,644 experience. Now depending on which fishing method that you choose to get to 99, this can save you anywhere between 3 and 17 hours. So in all honesty, that's all you really need to know to actually get started with the fishing skill. Once you have these couple things out of the way, you are ready to get rolling. And with that, let's go ahead and get into method one. So for the first method that I'm going to be covering, I'm going to be doing the angler fishing method for you guys. Now this actually is the slowest possible way that you can get 99 fishing, but if you do decide to go this route, maybe on an alternate account, you will make quite a bit of money. So we're going to start off at level 24 fishing because if you don't have it already you should do the sea slug quest that'll put you at level 24 and then from level 24 all the way to level 58 you're going to want to do fly fishing and this requires a fly fishing rod and feathers. You can fly fish in either Shiloh village or the barbarian village or there's a couple other places you actually can do this too but those are the most common. In order to get into Shiloh village you'll have to do the Shiloh village quest so it's usually more common to do it in the barbarian village early on. So after you have fly fished your brains out for a little while, well you're going to fly fish some more brains out all the way to level 82 fishing. Now barbarian fly fishing is a little bit different because you're going to need to complete a mini quest and get a specific rod for this. Now when it, once you complete a mini quest and talk to Otto Godblessed after completing barbarian training, you can search his bed and find a heavy rod and you will still need feathers to catch the leaping trout, salmon, and sturgeon. Now this method when catching the trout and salmon will require you to have 30 agility and strength and you can actually start this at level 48 
but the leaping trout are the same XP as normal trout, but they have a slower catch rate, so it's actually better to start at level 58 for leaping trout and leaping salmon. Now doing this, you're going to want to do this from level 58 to 82, but from level 58 to 70 where you can catch leaping sturgeon will take you about 14 and a half hours if you do it the AFK method, or if you do it 3 ticking, it'll take you about 8 hours. You'll end up getting between 35,000 and 40,000 XP per hour up to level 70. And like I said earlier, once you hit level 70, you will start to see Leaping Sturgeon in the mix as long as you have level 45 agility and strength or higher. So from level 70 to 82, you'll be able to catch Leaping Trout, Salmon, and Sturgeon. And it's going to take you about 31 hours to get from level 70 to 82, or about 17 hours if you're 3 ticking. Now if you're not 3 ticking, you'll probably see between 50 and 55,000 experience per hour. But if you are 3 ticking, you can see anywhere from 100 to 110,000 XP per hour if you pay attention. So now that you've hit level 82 fishing, this is where it gets incredibly long. Once you hit level 82 fishing, you can start to catch the anglerfish. Now in order to catch anglerfish, you're going to have to travel all the way to the continent of Zaya in the Piscarilius house, and you will need to get 100% favor in the Piscarilius house to be able to catch anglerfish. Now, all the way from level 82 to 99 is going to be 10,613,300 and 44 experience. Now, with this amount of XP, you're going to end up catching 88,445 anglerfish, which when sold raw will net you 144 million GP by the time you hit level 99. Now the downside to this is it's going to take you about 530 hours to get from level 82 to 99 fishing doing anglerfish alone. All the way at the bottom of the spectrum, around level 82 to 84, you're looking at about 15,000 XP per hour, but it only caps at around 23,000 experience per hour at level 99. So if you're looking to go this route, you're looking at anywhere between 550 and 600 hours from level 1 to level 99 fishing using the angler fishing method. Now it does get you a pretty nice amount of profit in the end, but in my opinion, spending that much time doing something on a main account is definitely not worth it. If you have an alt that you would like to use to do angler fishing, definitely, probably a lot more worth it because you're not really paying attention much to that account and it doesn't really have anything else that it could be doing to make better money. But that is going to wrap up method one for angler fishing and we are going to move right into method two, which is going to be monk fishing. So with monk fishing, obviously we're going to get level 1 to 24 the same way with the sea slug quest, and we are going to get up to level 58 the same way as we did with the angler fishing method, which is just fly fishing and dropping all your trout and salmon. Uh, once you hit level 58, you're going to switch back over to barbarian fishing and only do this until level 62. At level 62, you can then catch the monkfish. Now getting from level 58 to level 62 with barbarian fishing, it's going to take you about 3 hours if you're AFKing it, or about 1.5 if you end up 3 ticking it. Once you hit level 62, you will be able to catch the monkfish, but you will need access to the Piscator's fishing colony, which is locked behind the quest Swan Song, which does have some pretty decent requirements, so if you're a lower level skiller, this method probably isn't for you either. But after the quest, you will have the ability to catch the monkfish with a small fishing net. Monkfish can be around 30 to 35,000 experience per hour at level 70, and about 40,000 XP per hour at the higher levels. Now for monkfish, when you started at level 62, you will need 12,700,627 experience to get level 99. That will amount to 105,839 monkfish, which when sold raw at current market prices will get you just about 50 million GP. Now, not as slow as the anglerfish, but still pretty slow. It will take you around 350 hours just to get from level 62 to level 99. And the total hour counter for monk fishing from level 1 all the way to level 99 is going to be around 375 to 400 hours. Because let's face it, you're not probably not going to pay attention the whole time. There will be a, some gaps in there where you forget to click on the fishing spot or whatever. But 
and a decent rate, 375 to 400 hours is what you're looking for for level 1 to 99 using the monk fishing method. Up next is going to be my chosen method 3 which is going to be minnow fishing. Now for minnow fishing it requires level 82 fishing so it's going to be the same methods of angler fishing all the way up to level 82. Sea slug quest to level 24 if you're starting out at level 1, level 24 to 58 fly fishing and level 58 to 82 barbarian fishing. Level 82 to 99 will be minnow fishing on the platform in the fishing guild. Now this method does require the full angler's outfit from the fishing trawler minigame and you will also need a small fishing net. Now this method is very click intensive. Each catch will yield you 10 to 14 minnows and fishing spots move around every 15 seconds. So you definitely have to be paying attention and if you're looking for an AFK fishing method this definitely is not going to be for you. Now the minnows can be exchanged at a rate of 40 minnows for one raw shark. So you will still be able to make a little bit of profit here. Now although it's not the fastest method still, it is a lot faster than both monk fishing and angler fishing. And once again level 82 to level 99 is going to be 10,613,344 experience which will come out to be 400,503 minnow catches. Now like I said earlier you do get 10 to 14 minnows per catch which will put you in the range of 4 million to 5.6 million minnows that you will actually catch. Now once you trade all of these in for sharks, you're looking at somewhere between 100,000 and 140,000 sharks depending on how many minnows you accumulated from level 82 to 99 and selling these sharks at the current market price will net you between 93 million and 130 million GP. But if you had to average it out, you're looking at somewhere between 110 to 112 million GP from level 82 to 99 with minnow fishing. Now minnow fishing, you can get XP at a rate of about 40,000 experience per hour at level 82, all the way up to 56,000 experience per hour at level 99, which is not bad at all once you get to the higher levels. Fishing XP is pretty hard to come by in any other method, so anywhere between 50 and 56,000 experience per hour is doing pretty good. And adding in the other methods that you will need to use to get up to level 82 fishing, you're looking at around 250 hours from level 1 to level 99 fishing using the minnow fishing method. And last but not least will be my fourth method which is going to be entirely barbarian fishing from level 58 all the way to level 99. Level 24 to 58 you're going to be fly fishing the trout and the salmon and at level 58 you're going to move straight into barbarian fishing. Now this is most definitely the fastest way to level 99 regardless of what you pick to do whether you AFK it or you 3 tick it. Now if you decide to do it like me I AFK barbarian fished all the way from level 85 to level 99 which is where I actually started this grind to 99. But if you end up starting it at level 58, you're going to need 12,809,965 experience to get to 99, and this is going to take you about 233 hours. The average is about 55,000 experience per hour, and that's based on the low levels all the way up to the high levels. Now for me, it took me about 190 to 200 hours to get from level 85 to level 99 fishing. Now if you decide to do the 3 ticking method all the way to level 99, you will be paying a lot of attention. This method is very click intensive and requires 100% attention to get the maximum amount of experience per hour. If you do do it this way, it's going to take you about 128 hours to get from level 58 to level 99, and all in all it'll take you about 150 to 160 hours to get from level 1 to level 99 which is by far the fastest method. If you do 3 tick fish you can average about 100,000 experience per hour post level 70 all the way up to about 110,000 experience per hour. But in this video I'm actually not going to show you how to 3 tick fish because there is actually already an awesome guide out there. So if you would like to learn how to 3 tick fish and get that experience from 100 to 110,000 experience per hour, you can check out the description below and I have put a link to Autumn Elegy's 3 tick fishing guide which is very in depth, it explains everything you need to know. So if you want to 3 tick fish, check out the description, check out that video. 
But that is going to do it guys, and of course there are other methods out there that you can choose to get level 99 fishing which aren't covered in this video. But for me, these are my personal four favorites, and the probably the four best ways to do it. There are other ways, like I said, and if another way suits you better, by all means, whatever floats your boat, go ahead and give it a shot. So if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up down below, they really help the video's popularity and if you have not done so yet please go ahead and tap that subscribe button on your way out if you are interested you can check out my patreon page and you can pledge to support my channel all of your support from patreon definitely helps keep my channel up and running and it helps me develop and set aside time for new and better content so if you need that link is also in the description below but until next time guys i will see y'all later take it easy Thank <laughs> you.